everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'll get that mouse pointer off of the screen in no time flat, never fear. First things first, ooh, converter, 4 HP, and HP was our uh, other item as well. 98AY, 7XB8. I will say, if you're gonna get converter, this is the right time to get it, because if we get some early spirit hearts, um, that, that could be pretty valuable for us. Like, there's one tinted rock right there. We could maybe turn two spirit hearts into an HP upgrade or something like that. It's a little prickly, because you don't necessarily want to do that, because one spirit heart could be worth basically a deal with the devil, depending on how you play your cards, you know? But, uh, it's also a really easy way for us to get a lot of fuel for deals with the devil if we manage to swing it that way. Now, uh, tech point five is a really, really good item for us. I'm hoping we just get some kind of random bombs. I could go to the, um... To the shop and just buy one in all likelihood, or even just buy a spirit heart, but uh, I don't necessarily love the idea of doing that. We might just end up kind of eating it on this floor and, and not really worrying too much about the converter uh, and just seeing what we get from our boss instead. If there were two tinted rocks, I'd be a little bit more into the idea. With only one tinted rock, I'm like, ah, you know, we're already at 4 HP. That's well beyond where we would expect to be on your average uh, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth run, so I'm not going to get too bent out of shape about... Um, you know, trying to ensure that we get five or even six early on. As much as it would be nice if spirit hearts are um, are rare, then that's fine for us too. We'll just take the ones that we can get. Uh, and, and so we took what we could get, and then she looked at me with her big tinted rock eyes. I said tinted, and said, you ain't seen nothing yet. Bow, bow. Uh, 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 Eden, you just ain't seen nothing. It's hard to, it's not the right syllable to be uh, sibilated like that. I don't know if sibilated is even a word, but it made me sound like I knew what I was talking about temporarily, and I enjoy that feeling in the short fits and spurts in which I can muster it. Double key room gives us two bombs, so two bombs for two keys, then we get a two cent profit and a pill. I'll take it. I am happy I did, it was pretty fly. Kind of a crapshoot, could be bad trip and, and ruin your life. Uh, now with two bombs, we just have to get through this. Oh my god, I was just about to say, don't take damage on this room. And we're pretty much guaranteed our deal with the devil because of the spirit hearts we would have expected to get from that uh, tinted rock. But instead we got small rock. And it's kind of a weird situation where I'm very happy that we got small rock. Oh my god, it's the smartest super lust I've ever seen. I tried to bait him into taking this easy route for myself here. It never worked out. Um... I still think we should stick with Converter over Yumheart, just because it's more interesting. So we might have uh, fudged ourselves out of a deal with the Devil Chance, only I didn't say fudge, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm I'm optimistic that maybe we'll get lucky anyway. Should we get lucky? Probably not, but um, you know, that's that's the roll in the dice, man. I'm getting pretty excited. Afterbirth is coming out on Friday. It is presently Tuesday. There's basically like a very, very small backlog for these videos. This video will probably go up like Wednesday morning, so like, I'm I'm right there with you. If you're excited for Afterbirth, I am right there with you. Never fear. Let's open this up. Bomb and a key for two keys. I like it. Then we'll trade another bomb for another key, which is maybe a little overkill. Um, I I can't wait. Uh, why not? I mean, several reasons why not, but I'm going to take it anyway. Um, with Tech Point Five, this might be kind of interesting. I'm uh, I'm extremely excited about Afterbirth. The release, I think I talked about this in an earlier episode, but it kind of snuck up on me because I've been playing so much Rebirth that I'm just like, oh, it comes out in three days. <laughs> it's, it's pretty ridiculous that it's that it's so soon. Uh, I, uh, I I can't wait to experience some new items. Basically, that's the thing. People ask me like, what are you most excited about in uh, for with Afterbirth? I guess I should say it's always new items, man. New items, new synergies, stuff like that. So, depending on what we get here, we might be able to buy a spirit heart from our shop and then convert it into a red heart, but we might also just want to keep our spirit heart, so if we lose our deal with the devil on this floor due to that red heart damage we took earlier, um, I can just uh, get a deal with the devil on the next floor, and you know, Bob's your uncle, hopefully we don't fall on that like Krampus red chest, uh, you know, uh, purgatory spiral. I think we're just going to keep this and then head down to the next floor. And honestly, because we got Tech Point 5, I kind of feel like soy milk is pretty good for us. Not great, and not even necessarily even an improvement, but pretty good relative to your average uh, soy milk situation. I would still love uh, genuine piercing shots so we didn't have to deal with knockback as much. And of course, anything that improves our damage or gives us a tear effect or something like that is, uh, is nice if we could swing it. But Tech Point 5 is definitely a helper if you also have soy milk. Kind of like a... Uh, you know, the, the poor man's uh, piercing shots here. 
And also, it's just additive damage. Like, it, it doesn't compromise our existing damage like the, uh, the other technologies do sometimes. So there goes our Spirit Heart, but let's focus on the positive. I'm glad that we had that Spirit Heart to begin with. If we didn't, I, uh, I would already have lost my deal with the Devil Chance. Are you a wizard? Honestly, relatively minor, because uh, I already feel like almost all of our damage is coming in the form of the Tech Point 5 shots. Uh, the thing with Tech Point 5 is that it's unreliable. We don't know when it's going to fire, so we kind of have, just have to keep it going on these enemies here. Keep line of sight on them, which is a little dangerous. Hope that you don't get caught in the miasma. Oh, come on. Little ridiculous here. Telepathy for dummies. You know what? I will take telepathy for dummies. I don't necessarily think it's better than converter, but converter's doing nothing for us here. And there's no guarantee it will ever do anything for us, so... We'll take telepathy for dummies. Now, we gotta be as smart as possible here. Try to do damage to these bombs when they're far away. Oh, that would have been probably a good explosion. This is okay. Good stuff. We are totally safe. That room can be pretty dangerous. This one is a complete crapshoot. I'm very glad we saved Telepathy for Dummies for this room. Um, still no guarantee we're going to get out of this without taking damage. We did find a secret room. And Tech Point 5 is doing some interesting stuff for us. I think it's mostly very good. Alright, that's a lot of bombs. We would really like to get... First off, I'd really like to get... Um, Triple A battery or 9 volt. 9 volt probably much more likely considering it, it can come from a shop, whereas we just have to wait for a random drop from Triple A battery. Um, this guy is going to be pretty easy to hit, I think. We don't need to use telepathy for dummies here, but um, that would basically give us homing tiers with Tech Point 5, which is pretty solid. Mr. Boom is not good enough, but we can drop it over here and maybe get a crawl space or something. Uh. I would, I would really like, like, one Spirit Heart as well. Like, that wouldn't be so bad. I, I, could, I could make do with it. Oh, I'm an, almost an idiot. I'm almost an idiot. But instead, we, uh, we, we kept it up there. Lucky me. Okay. So, we'll save, uh, we'll save our Telepathy for Dummies for the boss fight. Got a couple of extra pills. One of which is, are you a wizard? The other one, we're not going to take just yet. Man, this is a little dangerous, but I think Telepathy for Dummies is okay here because um, there's going to be times where we don't want to be on line of sight with Gertie Jr. because of the fact that it's going to put us at an increased risk of taking damage. So we'll just, uh, I mean, we're getting really good results from the knockback here as well, but I also, I take a little bit of, oh god, comfort in not having to be directly next to him in order to uh, actually hit him. We do get a deal with the Devil, and we got Speed plus Range, in Roid Rage, and we got the Pact, which is good. We could immediately convert that with, uh... Hey, it was a Tears Upgrade anyway. We could immediately convert that with, um, the Converter. Oh, well. Now we can't. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, the Pact is a great pickup. Liberty Cap is okay. It's like, a it's a very common trinket for me to use. It would be awesome to get the 9 volt here. Sincerely, to be able to have... Uh, homing lasers and homing tears on every single room would go a long way towards kind of maximizing my ability to deal damage here. So uh, I can't overstate it. That would be really useful. It's kind of, again, like a poor man's homing tears, but we don't really have too much of a choice in the matter. I think we got to try. I forgot we had Curse of the Blind, but let's give it a shot. Ah, yeah, that was a good idea. I actually like looked at it and shot and was like, you know what? It's worth it. Black Candle, also great, but uh, not immediately what we want. Not exactly what we want, but uh, nothing wrong with it. Okay, good stuff. One way or the other, he's going to be dead. Alright, that also gives us a much better deal with the Devil Chance. Something like a 35% increased chance floor to floor. I know I act like I'm surprised by it every time. You might think that that's disingenuous. Rather, it's just uh, that I forget numbers. And I uh, find myself being like, alright, that's what it does. So we got Guppy's head here. Weirdly enough, I think we're in this strange situation where uh, I'm happy to have gotten a Guppy item, don't get me wrong. But I feel like with soy milk, uh, Guppy's head is not that good. Telepathy for dummies. This might be the moment you've been waiting for, buddy. This is your time to shine. I think you are better than Guppy's head in this very, very unique scenario. All oh, right, there's still one more enemy. Of course, that could change. But um, I'm, I'm happy with this for now. And again, telepathy for dummies could be awesome if we just 
manage to get one of those two items that can that can have us use it every single room. For now, though, super stoked to have gotten a guppy item. Really glad I went into that room. When I saw it wasn't a red chest, I was like, eh, I could take it or leave it, but we're way ahead of boss, boss rush schedule right now. I, I keep trying to say boss rush, which just scares the shit out of me. I'm picturing, like, um, you know, like, a uh, temple run, but you're running away from, like, prowling Chris Boshes, you know, former Toronto Raptor, current Miami Heat member. <laughs> Raptor turns into a noun much easier than, than Heat does in this situation. I'm not going to take Bob's brain this time. I, I basically, I, I go 50-50 with Bob's brain. I don't think it's suitable for this run because we're going to be firing so often that I'm going to make mistakes with it. Well, okay. Uh, obviously, this is not what we wanted. But uh, it is what it is. Let's try to pick up some tarot cards here. Death card is... I would say worth a bomb. Use it in a situation like that and pretty much sort this out right away. I don't really want to do this up close and personal, but if they give me no other choice, they give me no other choice. Uh, yeah. We, like, one thing I definitely have to get more used to is using Telepathy for Dummies. Not necessarily every time it's available, but every time it would provide us with a considerable advantage. I can't believe that we managed to make it through there. Um... Which is going to be a lot of rooms. Like, this room doesn't necessarily need it because uh, once we get them into the ooze state, they're all going to go down to, to tech point five anyway. But uh, might be uh, prudent on, on other rooms kind of like it. Loki's Horns. This is going to be interesting. We're actually building kind of a weird run, especially with Telepathy for Dummies. Again, Telepathy for Dummies, I don't think necessary here as a result of the, the fact that these enemies are pretty untanky. They're going to die relatively easily. Might as well take a second amnesia pill. Yeah, we really could benefit from some form of piercing shots, because I talk about it all the time, but one of the things that's actually kind of like subtly and deceptively, wow, uh, bad with soy milk is you hit an enemy once, it doesn't do very much damage, and it knocks them out of the way of the next shot. So, uh, that's, that's a, like, genuine, sincere problem that hopefully we can find a way around here. I guess Tech Point 5 never shoots with Loki's horns. That doesn't make Loki's horns just a shit pickup for us here. At least not any more than it already was, but uh, I do wish that it worked out that way so we could have, like, quad lasers shooting out of our body, but... Can't always get what you want is my favorite Justin Bieber song. But if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you beebs. I, I like being uh, 26 going on 27 very soon here because it means that I can make jokes about Justin Bieber without um, having any of the associated vitriol because I'm like... I'm too old. I didn't mean to buy that bomb. But you know what? Let's try this. I'm too old to have experienced incredible fervor for Justin Bieber. Like, he's never really been, I guess, that popular in my peer group. So I don't have any built-in resentment towards him. But I also have no built-in reverence, necessarily. I think he's, you know, probably a bad mo role model, what with the uh, drunk driving and whatnot. But um, at the same time, I like that it riles people up. People be, whoa, fucking Justin Bieber, man. And I'm like, I don't know. When I was in, uh, when I was in high school, everyone was going crazy over, uh, Jack Johnson. You know, make banana pancake, that guy. And, you know, with Jason Mraz and stuff like that. So, I, I, I missed that by a few years, I guess. Um, so I can make jokes about it and, and not experience any of the associated pain that maybe you have if you've been living in a Justin Bieber-dominated universe for the past few years. In which case, I feel for you. And, you know, that's, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. As Senatorial Whip Frank Underwood, I support Justin Bieber for my Vice Presidential Candidate on Season 4 of House of Cards. That's not... my... all of my impressions have gotten worse, but that's... that's like one of the worst of the worst right there for sure. Alright, so... Soy Milk, Homing Tears, against Gertie. We already killed Gertie's son on the last floor, so I, I mean, I can understand why they would be displeased about this whole situation. Kind of digging the, you know, the rotation here. It's working out fairly well. I like that we don't have to aim at anything to kill it. Still mostly doing quite a lot of damage. Still taking forever to get the job done, but we should have a great deal with the Devil Chance here. As a result of the uh, Black Candle, plus the fact that we obviously didn't take any Red Heart damage. I think it's not a great chance, but it's a great chance relative to the normal chance, which would be like 35% or something. Or 25%. Now it's going to be like 42 or something. Eh, whatever. Didn't work out. 
That's, uh, it happens sometimes. I might have missed the item room on this floor. I'm not totally sure. Amnesia tricks me sometimes. I don't think I did, because I got Loki's horns, right? That was this floor. Little Chad. Sorry, Little Chub. Little Chub is interesting. Is it worth, um... Is it worth fighting for? Oh, my lord. Yes, but not if we, uh, would possibly stand to lose our spirit heart from, from fighting for it. So, uh, I think we're gonna save it until maybe the end of the floor. But it is fairly advantageous. Like, it's not the best thing you can get from those rooms, but it's it's okay. And just in general, oh man, I really wish I'd saved uh, telep Telepathy for Dummies for this. But um, just in general, I don't think you should look a gift horse in the mouth with respect to items uh, in, in Isaac. You know, every extra item pedestal is a chance for you to do something great. Now, let's just uh, keep ourselves moving here. Envy's no joke when you got knockback like this. It's gonna be tough to dodge. Luckily, uh, you know, the more things we get on the screen, actually, the faster it should go, because we'll be able to hit many of them simultaneously with Tech Point 5. If we just kind of keep going up and down here. They'll eventually die, and we'll uh, live on in, in peace and harmony. Shoop the whoop could have tempted me there, but I guess no such luck. Just a bunch of spiders. This one, I think, is not worth telepathy for dummies, but it's it's borderline. I'm basically betting the next room is going to be trickier than this one. That's not always the case. Fucking bonies with their preternatural aim, man. Okay, there is a tinted rock there. Um, I don't know. Maybe a little bit of a wash. This room can be annoying, but probably not as annoying as the last room, if I'm being honest with you. Alrighty. Right there. Bomb? Good. Otherwise, I, I had a chance to forget, I think, that uh, there was this right here. A teleport card wouldn't be bad. We have a chance at Boss Rush. Instead, we got a Degas Rune, which is also pretty good. I'm going to use it right away, because I want to hit up this Curse Room, just for the chance that it got the item. Obviously, it didn't work out for us. We already have Curse Immunity, so basically, the Degas Rune is just a Spirit Heart, but that's that's great, you know? how Who am I to say, you know, fuck Spirit Hearts? I'm not going to say that. That's ignorant. You're being ignorant right now. I wish I could just get this dude to jump in the fire. Like, that would save me some freaking time here. Uh, this one is probably worth using Philebathy for Dummies as well. You see what you've done to me right now, Run? You forced me to basically analyze whether or not it's worth having homing tears on an individual room or not, or whether it's worth waiting. This is why we need just one more item to put us way over the top here, because right now, I gotta admit, the tears look pretty cool, but, uh, you know, they, they dry on their own, as Amy Winehouse would say. Uh, I need a little bit more, uh, a little bit more chutzpah here. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it's like, uh... Strength? Force? Passion? Something like that? Effort? I need, I mean, hopefully not more effort. I mean, I'm uh, pretty exhausted from this run already. We know this? Bombs are key. Uh... It could be better. Knockback doesn't affect these guys, so... I'll just, uh... Grin and bear this one. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, this is not... I should be standing in a different place. <laughs> like, we should be able to keep them mostly in the same place. Yeah, there we go. Bombs are key. Well, at least we can come in here. I do not want Bob's Rotten Head. Even if I did, uh... Celebrity for Dummies is still probably going to take precedent over it. But even in the best of times, I don't really like Bob's Rotten Head. So, we're probably too slow for Boss Rush now. Uh, which is not really... An indication that we're doing badly. It's more like we were doing pretty well and then the run just kind of slowed down because enemies got tankier. That doesn't have to last forever. On this floor, let me think. We got a 75... Well, base chance. We have like 135% deal with the devil chance. Then we're going to multiply that by 0.75 because we got a deal with the devil uh, two floors ago. So our penalty is a 75% diminishment of our deal with the devil chance. So you're looking at 0.7 times 135... So that's like a, you know, 70... I mean, it's 75 flat, right? So it's probably like an 82% chance or something like that. Getting basically an extra third of 25%. Of so yeah, an 82, 83% chance of a deal with the devil. Then you gotta factor in, you know, probably like a 25% chance of it being Krampus. Maybe a 20% chance of it being Red Hearts. So we, I, I don't really love our odds of getting a, a really game-busting item here, but, you know, there's a lot of large numbers thing. The larger the sample size we get, the more odds we have to get uh, decent items. And you know what? Uh, soy milk lump of coal is actually a pretty good pickup. If it's Krampus's head, I don't think I can really justify taking it right now. 
to be uh, perfectly honest with you. Because I really like the idea of having homing tech point five, and it's it's kind of working out. And uh, as usual, uh, or at least often in this case, uh, we're not going to be able to get anything out of that. I'm going to skip the shop. I don't have any keys anyway. I'd like to keep maybe the dream of Boss Rush alive, even though the odds are quite low. I should think about this one. Um, we're going to gamble a little bit. Maybe I'll go down to two full red hearts. The dream there is that we'd get an IV bag, but without an IV bag, it's still okay. We got money that hopefully we'll be able to use. Hopefully this is our secret room, and it is indeed. Just, uh, you know, experience makes it fairly easy to tell where that's going to be. I don't even really look at the adjacency that much anymore. It's more just like the archetype for the room. And I, I found that more reliable, strangely enough. Are you a wizard? Just a... Are you a wizard is like secretly the actual worst pill in the game because of the fact that it doesn't turn into a good pill uh, when you use PhD. This is a great room for telepathy for dummies. Weak enemies that tech point five will just shred, but they move around a lot, so it is a great counter. Puberty, you know, don't let that fool you. That was actually not a bad. Uh, that was not a bad card for us here. Um, I hope that I'm still being recorded, but the the Isaac game itself is crashed. There we go. It's back. I don't know why it does that. Probably just working the, uh, it's get laying the groundwork for Afterbirth. Now, since our item room is right here, we will use a bomb instead of a key. Yeah, okay. The mulligan is really good and actually completely validates my, um, my choice to stick with telepathy for dummies. Because now, you know, you know how it works with the mulligan, probably, more, better than I do even. Uh, there's a one in six chance, basically, for you to create a fly upon hitting someone with your, or hitting an enemy with your tears. Uh, Telepathy for Dummies will make us have a much better rate of hitting enemies when we actually shoot at them. So I think this is going to really help us out when it comes to fly generation, and uh, that might end up being a pretty core element of a successful run here. Boss Rush is obviously fucked. Also, our flies are not going to do very much damage. Like, that's, hopefully that's obvious, but um, what we lack in kind of... Uh, Individual damage will make up for with, you know, collective power is the idea. Now we just need Infestation 2, and hopefully our shop maybe finds it in its heart to give us Hive Mind. And we got a, we got a chance at this one. We don't have Guppy, um, but we got kind of like a makeshift Guppy. This whole run is just, you know, ah, that makes sense. Poor man's homing tears, poor man's Guppy, etc., etc. Deal with the Devil Chance relatively low here. Another great room for uh, homing tears. Starting to get a little worried about our HP, actually. To the point where I'm like, maybe we should take the Strength card instead of the Empress, but... You know, you assume that at some point you're gonna get some Red Hearts back. Uh, apparently that was an ignorant assumption of mine. Come on, give me some Red Hearts. Don't make me backtrack just to get Red Hearts. That is just... That's a little insulting. You know I'm good for it, just give me the Red Hearts. Oh, Lord. Not even a second secret room? Not even... A second secret room? There we go. Red hearts? Pills? I found pills. Could be worse. Lemon party? Puberty? Tears up. Well, tears up is a great pill. One of the best. Uh, I think I'm probably going to take lemon party with me, to be honest with you. Very interesting. I think, you know what, I've probably mostly squandered my deal with the Devil Chance on this floor anyway. Especially when you consider that we got one on the last floor, so... Uh, I think I'll probably just use the Joker card right away. And then take Lemon Party into the Mom fight for, for, good, uh, for good luck, basically. One full Red Heart, that's something. Still haven't seen our shop. That's true. Let's use our Joker card first. We got Mom's Knife. Uh, this is weird. I feel like we don't want Mom's Knife... Soy milk telepathy for dummies? I gotta, I gotta try. Does this put us on one heart? It would, right? No, it puts us on two and a half. Oh, with Loki's horns, this will be interesting. Good. Very good damage to start with there. There's the mom's knife penalty. Uh, we're doing just absolutely god-awful damage. And it's extremely hard to hit things with it, because one tap... Sends the knife flying in this direction. Now, admittedly, it, it, the damage is not that bad. And telepathy for dummies should help this out quite a lot. But 
I, I do not think by any stretch of the imagination that was necessarily even the objective right play. Uh, especially because we might be about to die. Now, I gotta admit, homing mom's knife uh, with Loki's horns looks pretty freaking cool. Is it very effective? I don't know, to be honest with you. Mm, we should be okay here, but, you know, should is uh, an interesting phrase sometimes. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, I'm actually worried that we will, we will die on this floor. And I think, weirdly enough, soy milk might have been better. Like, soy milk tears might have been better than uh, mom's knife plus soy milk. I can't hit anything reliably. Oh my god, the Empress again. We gotta try to get to our shop. Oh my god, don't let the fucking hollow kill you. That's just embarrassing. Please, no greed. Okay, we will live at least temporarily. Bombs are key. Not really <laughs> that worthwhile. Uh, I think we just get money if we use Pandora's box here. So what do I care, basically? But at least we lived through that room. Do we want to buy a bomb? Is there a bomb for sale in here? There is a bomb for sale. Might as well buy the key. Might as well shoot these fires in the hopes of, you know, putting them out. Getting a red, uh, red poop. And then I'm thinking we got, you know, four... Or groups of four uh, skulls back here. At least three. We could throw this down and maybe pick up some red hearts or black hearts. Worked out fantastically from my perspective, as you can guess. Uh, okay, this, this fucking nightmare room here. We've made it. Okay. We're going to try to fight the boss. Instead of the Empress, I really think we're much better off with, uh, with the Lemon Party pill. It's a lemon party pill, lemon party pill. Sing it if you know it. Pop the tab, rip it and shake it. Lick it again. It's a lemon party pill. Hello. Hello. How's, it? How's it going, Kate? Installation for your new GP is all good. It's all good? All good. That is awesome. Thank you very much. Did you try running some, some OpenGL games? Yeah, I have started the Finding of Isaac. Whoa! How is it? I hear that game's pretty good. It's good as new. Well, that is fantastic to hear. This might be the end of our Mr. Green Man issues. It also means I can stop being self-conscious about blowing up your donation machine. And leaving your old, uh, coffee, coffee cup. cup. <laughs> I appreciate your support in, in letting me use your office, Kate. Well, I mean, a slight problem, but I, I appreciate it either way. This is a great run to send it off. Check it out. Mom's Knife, Loki's Horns, Soy Milk, Tech Point Five, Telepathy for Dummies. Wowzy. Wowzy. You, uh, you should let them know people who helped you along this journey. <laughs> like, like right now? No, just, you know, Once, after, after yeah. you record, just tell them... Thank you. I, I am the most appreciative man in the world right now. Most of all, I want to thank my wonderful wife for her support during this ordeal. You. You're welcome. You are welcome. Don't die. Oh, I'm fucking gonna die, aren't I? Ah! Oh, no! I mean, okay. As far as losses go, this was a fun one. Can we talk for a moment about what the Cat of Nine Tails icon looks like? You know how I said my most excited part about Afterbirth was that uh, we would get new items? Maybe we can get a new icon for this one that looks like a Cheeto that fell under the couch. And you're like, oh, should I eat it? It might have been there for a couple days, but I could really go for that fried corn-based goodness. Uh, I'm bad at Isaac. This run was weird. I hope you're not mad. I hope you had f as much fun as I did. Uh, I, we probably should have lived as well, but oh well, it happens. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.